Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at multiple choice from physics as well as maths and also learning the concepts entailed in these questions. Today let us deal with a question from statistics. The question is which of the following is not a measure of central tendency? So those who know the answer can just tick it and wait for the answer. Those who do not know the, these concepts will just have to wait for a few seconds before we begin with the concepts. So let us talk about the concept of central tendency. Now consider any data and in that data there is a single value associated with that data which is going to provide description of that data so that is the idea of a, of central tendency let us give an example so that you will understand it in a better way so there are three measures of central tendency mean mode and median so let's look at this data this is the data now each one of them mean mode and median is going to associate a single number for this entire data and it's not just a number it is a number which tells you something about the data remember this definition we'll come back to this so the idea is it's not going to provide any information regarding individual data from the data set it talks about the entire set so it's a single value so remember the key points it's a single value associated with the data set and it provides information about the entire data set so as mentioned few moments ago there are different statistical measures for of central tendency namely say mean mode median each one of them is calculated in a different way because each one of them is defined in a different way now mean is basically average value of a data set so how do you calculate an average value you will just add all the elements in the data set and divide it by the number of elements let's quickly calculate it this is the data set so let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So basically there are 10 numbers here. And there is no order per se. Randomly 10 numbers have been given. So if I want to find its mean, that means the average value, I have to add up them all up. For example here you can see it. And since 10 is the number, I have to divide it by 10. So total number of elements are 10. So you add all the 10 elements and divide it by 10. So the addition, you can quickly do it yourself. Pause the video, do the addition and then cross check. The addition comes out to be 104. So that divided by 10 is 10.4. So 10.4 is the unique single number which has been right now associated with this data set as a mean of this data set. So now I hope you are able to understand the meaning of central tendency. So mean is one of the measure, measures of central tendency. Then there is mode. What is mode? Mode is the most frequently occurring value in a data set. So now if you see this data set, which number is occurring maximum number of times? It's 12, right? 12 is, is occurring three times. Even though 8 is also occurring multiple times, it's just occurring two times. So 12 is the answer or 12 is the mode because it is the most frequently occurring value in a data set. And then there is median. What is median? It's a central value for an organized data set. That means you have to arrange all the data points in either ascending or descending order and then you have to see the middle value. Now as it is clear had this been now here you can see it's 10 is the number of elements. Had this been a data set where there were 11 or an like odd number of elements, then it's very easy to just find the center. You just arrange them. And suppose if it's 11, it'll be 5 on one side, 5 on other side, and the middle one will be the answer. Now, if the number of data points are even, then you can arrange them and you can take average of the central two points. So here 
you can see I have arranged it in the ascending order and the average for this is of course 11 so 11 is the median or 11 is the middle value of the data set when the data set is arranged in ascending order even if it was arranged in descending order the middle value is not going to change so that doesn't matter so going back central tendency is basically this statistical measure like mean mode or median and you have seen that in each case there was a single number which was associated with this particular data set now coming back to this the answer is trivial answer is really simple which one of them is not a measure of central tendency just now we saw that all the three a mean mode as well as median have been the measures of central tendency so the only one remaining is range and range is not a measure of central tendency thank you